Hello, my name is Fernando and I'm a Technical Marketing Manager here at GitLab. Today I'm going to show you how to add security into your CI-CD pipeline. In this video, I'll guide you through integrating security into your CI-CD pipeline. This will involve setting up templates into your CI.yaml as well as setting up merge request approvals. Security scans can be integrated into your pipeline by including templates in your CI.yaml. Here I have configured templates for SAST, dependency scanning, license scanning, container scanning, as well as DAST. These security templates work by creating a job in your CI CD pipeline based off of GitLab maintained configurations. These configurations are updated every time GitLab performs a release and provides you with up-to-date versions of our security tools. Templates can be further configured using environment variables. These environment variables are specific per scan. For example, I'm adding debug output to container scanning and domain validation and authentication to DAST. More information on specifics on these environment variables can be seen in the link in the description. Another way of integrating security scans into your pipeline is by enabling Auto DevOps. Auto DevOps gives you a predefined CI CD configuration, which allows you to automatically detect, build, test, deploy, and monitor your applications. It can be easily enabled in your project's CI CD settings. Auto DevOps also gives you options on deploying to production, as seen here. After setting up the security scans, we see the pipeline running. I've set up the pipeline to first build the container and then run a static set of security scans. This is a good practice so we don't run tests on code that can't build yet. Once the static security scans are complete, the feature branch is automatically pushed into a staging environment or GitLab's review app. This depends on how the pipeline was configured. Once the app is running on an environment, DAST is run against it. Pipelines are highly configurable, and there are a lot of different policies you can set. GitLab will automate these policies. For more information, see the link in the description. Merge request approvals can block a merge request from being committed. GitLab has built-in policies such as blocking a merge request if a high, critical, or unknown vulnerability is detected, as well as if a denied license is detected. These are driven by the user. Using the Add Approval Rule button, I'm going to add the security team to verify vulnerabilities and the management team to verify licenses. However, this can vary based on your organization. Note that to enable these checks, the rule name is specific and case sensitive. You can also set the number of approvers required for this. The members in the approvers section are populated by your GitLab groups. In order to generate a group, please see the link in the description. Now we'll follow the same flow of the license check, but include a different group of approvers. The license check rule name is also specific and case sensitive. Additional rules can also be set up for merge request approvals, such as preventing the author from merging, as well as those who have been contributing code to the merge request. Now in the merge request view, we'll see these merge request approvals in action. You can see here that the license check and the vulnerability check have been enabled, requiring approval from the configured groups if certain conditions have been met. Here's a few things we've learned about setting up security scanning. To keep up to date, check out about.gitlab.com and be sure to subscribe. At GitLab, everyone can contribute.